what's happening guys been with tractors here and today we're gonna cook a nice healthy meal for you on a nice grill let's get started first thing you want you want to heat up your grill already we've already got this thing heated up you want it to about 200 degrees because what we're cooking is ham steaks with some zucchini and squash let's get started now that our grill's all nice and heated we're going to start laying these ham steaks on the grill oh boy they're sizzling they're sizzling let's let them sizzle now good thing about ham steaks is they're already pre-cooked we just got to heat them up and get some nice grill marks on them I can tell you right now, this is this is going to be good. This is going to be real good. Those ham steaks already on there. We're going to turn up our grill just a little bit. Let them cook there for about two minutes. And then, we'll turn them give them that nice hash mark but with that in mind we can go on ahead and get our pan ready for our zucchini and squash healthy meals guys healthy meals the only reason why i'm doing this healthy meal is because there's this one guy on youtube his name's the effective fitness coach real nice guy I'll tell you what i love that guy but he's trying to be health conscious and I figured I'd help him out. Maybe he can use this on his channel. Who knows? Can you, Richard? Richard! Yes, he can. That's Richard, guys. <laughs> Let's grease up our pan. I use Crisco. Crisco, Crisco, Crisco. We'll go ahead and put this squash and zucchini on there. Let me tell you something, guys. We went to uh, get the propane tank filled, and the damnedest thing happened. First off, I want to ask everybody out there, do you ever get a moment in your life when you want to look at someone and say, what's it feel like to be a fucking idiot? I had that moment today. Anyways. So we took our propane tank to get it filled. Woman comes out there, gives us a new tank, or so she says was new. Get home, get it hooked up to the grill. Damn thing's empty. I mean empty. I mean, you had one job. One job. And you managed to mess that up. people today. I don't understand them. Now, with me, I like a little bit of flavor to my stuff. So today, we're going to spread some lemon pepper and garlic powder. Just spread it on there. Spread it. Right, Richard? Spread it. Do you like to spread it? Just a little bit. How do you spread it? Do you use Crisco when you spread it? Mm, actually, sometimes I use a little light butter. Now, let's split these up and look at them. They're not quite there yet. We want the nice black marks across there. So we'll let them sit for a few more minutes. We're cooking our squash and zucchini indirectly. And what I mean by indirectly is there's no fire on this side of the grill. We're just going to set those in there, close the lid, and let the heat do its work. I love Sundays, Sunday cooking. 
reminisce about old times, good times, especially with good friends. Cook out with your friends. They're, they're the people that make your life go around. If you got good friends, then you're always going to have something nice. Right here. Right. <laughs> Best friends. Oh. Best friends. Get behind the camera, but you gotta have good friends. Don't have crappy friends. Friends that are only there for you when it's convenient to them. Those friends are not worth having. They're a drain on your life. On your soul. Yes, they drain your soul from deep within. <laughs> friends. Friends is what you want. I like friends. I have friends. I've got some friends out there that are, are complete total crap. Because they're only there for me when it's convenient to them. Whereas me, I was raised to, if someone asks you to do something or if you got a friend in need, you help them out. Not when it's convenient to you. You go on ahead and help them out. Richard helps me out. I help Richard out. See his thumb? Let's check these steaks one more time. What about the smaller one? They're getting quite there. But we'll go on ahead and give them a quick turn. They're cooking. Boy, I think they're good. We're going to turn this side up just a little bit. You know what, guys? Y'all stick around for more. Alright, guys. Our steaks are getting a little bit crispy on one side. So we went on ahead and turned them over. Now we're starting to cook. Doesn't take them long. Ham steaks don't take too long because they're already cooked. It's already pre-cooked. But use whatever kind of ham you want. If you want a bone-in ham, put a bone-in ham on there. Whatever your preference is. Me, I'm doing ham steaks today. Close it down, let it go some more. Alright guys, our ham steaks are done. So let's pull them off the grill. Put them in a bowl, put them in a bowl. Put them in a good, good bowl. Smell good. Looks good. Now, let's turn these all the way down on low heat and transfer our zucchini pan on top. And we'll let those cook for four minutes. Richard, set the timer now. One, two, four. Four minutes, we'll come right back. Alright guys, our four minutes is up. So. Let's get this zucchini and squash pulled off the grill. Go ahead and turn the grill off here. Oop, got a jumper. Probably should have used the spoon, guys. Probably should have used the spoon. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It's all going to the same place, right? That's right. And it looks very healthy and nutritious. All that zucchini. Again, guys, that's Richard, the effective fitness coach. Check out his Facebook page. Learn a lot of insightful things from him. He's a good fitness guy, good fitness coach. I know. He's helped me up. He's helped me keep my boyish figure.
getting there slowly but surely. Guys, I'm going to finish plating, uh, well, getting the rest of the stuff in the bowl. I'll catch you in the plate side. All right, guys. We got our food plated up. As you can see, we've got our ham steak looking very delicious. Our squash and zucchini. Also, we've got some little tomatoes and some rhubarb. I like to eat my rhubarb raw. You can cook it however you like. This is just my preference. But boy, does this look like a good, healthy meal. I'm sure Richard, the effective fitness coach, would be proud. Thumb of approval. Now guys, you know me. I don't like to eat in front of y'all. So we're going to sit down and eat this. I'll catch you on the next video.